what we've got here is we're, our starting point being this first team philosophy that we've that we've started with at the beginning of this process. What we've done is um, what we're able to do now is filter it into different teams throughout the club. So I think it's been quite well publicised recently that um, we made a club decision to um, kind of change our under 23 team into a B team with the purpose of making players, uh, preparing players tactically more effectively for the transition into our first team. Um, so what this, from a data point of view, what we were able to do very quickly is apply our first team data model to our B team. And this was really powerful because it provided us with a ready-made tool to track that transition tactically from the under 23s that were slightly removed from the style of the first team to a B team that was trying to implement the same philosophy. Um, it allows us to, to use internal comparisons so we can um, compare the first team um, with key metrics to the B team and uh, kind of uh, interpret the differences. Obviously different levels of football um, can be complicated to compare but it nonetheless gives us some interesting messages that we can use um, in the club. Uh, so the next thing I want to talk about, so obviously we've, we've, we've brought this um, data model down to the B team, but going younger than that, so that is probably a complicated um, equation, I would say. Um, having had conversations with coaches about this, there is a kind of fine balance between um, development and performance. So because a lot of what we're doing at first team level and probably B team level as well is measuring performance, um, do we need to be a bit careful when applying the same models to younger age groups where actually it's all about improving those players? Um, so it's a slightly difficult kind of um, equation to answer and it needs thought and it probably needs to, to be a club decision. Um, but it might be that we slightly adapt our models to account for different levels of football. So when we are me measuring performance of academy teams, we might have a slightly adapted or different um, model that we're, we're using. Um, so what I wanted to do now is just go through like a very clear example of how we can use um, the kind of metrics that we've spoken about to have a bring a powerful message. So I talked about uh, the introduction of the B team. So um, what we've got here is um, our pressing metrics um, at first team level and at under 23s as it was at the time last season. Um, and it's in these pitch visualizations, it's, it's marked on the screen, but red is indicating a high amount of defensive pressure. Blue is a low amount of defensive pressure. So what we've got here is um, a very simple kind of visualization, which tells us that our first team presses more than our under 23s. Um, and it's, you know, it's not in my remit to say that this isn't right because there are effective styles of play that don't involve high pressing. Um, but you maybe would question if that is the best way to um, tactical, tactically align your different teams in your club. Um, so as I said, after this 2019-2020 season, the, the club decision was made to um, create a B team with the aim of implementing the same tactical style as the first team. And what we saw, um, after the, even after the first few games, was that that style of play vastly altered um, and this is quite a powerful image I think in a way and a powerful story because um, you may be questioned like what is the point of this so what we're seeing here is that the under 23s that became the B team were immediately able to show that um, they were capable of a more aggressive pressing style of play um, this season. Um, so you might question what, what, why is this useful? We're, we're just, um, you know, we're just using metrics to paint a picture that's already happened. 
But what I think it does is it gives um, coaches and staff a real kind of um, confirmation that all that hard work they're putting on the training pitch to to align tactical styles um, is working and that there's objective confirmation from this sort of analysis. Um, so it's a real um, powerful message I think you can bring, albeit quite a simple one. 